Hey everyone, hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at AVC Labs Video Enhancer AI. By using AVC Labs, you are not only upscaling your videos, but also remove noise, de-blur out of the focus shots, and blur multiple moving faces automatically. So without further any ado, let's take a look how this works. So here we are right inside of AVC Labs. As you can see, the interface is really clean and simple. I already import a video clip into it. And here is the information related to our clip. Our clip is 1920 by 1080, 25 FPS. And here we have some basic settings. We have an add button from where you can add a media into it. We have a timestamps and we have an in and out point right here. If we look at the right side, we have a feature list. We have AI upscaler, AI face blur and the noise so let's start with the upscale click on this setting button so here we have four different settings the first one is standard which is quite fast but it may be not give you the best results that you are expecting so i recommend it go with the ultra one which is quite a bit slower than standard but it give you the best results the next one we have is standard multi-frame which is same as this default standard but it can give you more better results because it can process multiple frames at a time and remove the jitter effect of a moving object from your videos right and at the last we have ultra multi frame which is same as this ultra and it can process multiple frame at a time so i'm just go with the ultra for a best settings and here we have video settings so you can also change brightness saturation and contrast if you really want to change you can also crop to fill frame to change the spectra ratio of your clip and here we have output settings you can change the video size that you really want to do so i'm just go with 200 which is default value you can also select a some custom resolution if you really want to do you can select up to 8k which is really insane you can also change the video formats if you really want to do so mp4 is really great for me and at the last we have save directory option you can select the directory where you want to save your final results so before going with a start processing you can also preview your footage that your footage look like after processing so just simply click on this button it automatically process your footage before the final results and there you go our preview is just ready and is working really great as you can see here is the before and here is the after You can also expect a better results if you go with a standard multi-frame and ultra multi-frame and here is the result of all the settings that i apply on this clip so here we have all of this settings clip but i hope you cannot recognize any significant difference between all of this clip so that's why i zoom in this clip up to 500 percent to see how it's look like and what is the difference between standard ultra and standard multi-frame and ultra multi-frame so here is our original clip that I zoom in up to 500% to see a significant difference between the qualities. So here is the before which is our original. So I just apply a standard one and now here is the after that I get after that and you can see the significant difference between the quality. We can get a more sharpness because in our original clip which is really blurry but in a standard we got more sharpness and a more clear view and now I'm going to switch it to the ultra and as you can see it gives you a more softness in our clip here is the standard one and here is the ultra one you can see the clear difference between that and the last one we have is standard multi-frame which is really good in a quality so here is the ultra one and here is the standard multi-frame which is really really good and really sharpness everything is perfect you can see the clearly difference between ultra and standard multi-frame we have a sharpness we have a texture so you can check it out ultra multi-frame if you really want more better results so now let's try out this ai face blur simply select the ai face blur go to the face blur and you can increase or decrease the opacity of blur you can also select an image if you don't want a gaussian blur once you're done with it just simply click on this preview button and here is the final preview we get after that
it's doing a really great job you can also use a multiple moving faces clip it does not matter it works really great so the last thing we are going to be testing is the noise so here we have a clip as you can see we have a much noise in our clip and i want to remove it within a few seconds using ai so i simply go to the di option right here just click on this preview button and there you go our preview is just ready and as you can see it doing really great job so overall avc lab is worth it we already saw a result that was insane you can check it out i mentioned the link in the description below they are offering three different plan a monthly plan lifetime plan and a yearly plan you can check it out which is best for you so yeah that's all for today's video i hope you like this video if you like this video give me a big thumbs up and comment down below if you have any question about avc labs please let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video i will see you in the next one